I don't really know what I'm saying either, First so. Of all, dude, can you talk less than Acacia talk? Yeah, don't worry, I'll talk less than Acacia talks. <laughs> First off, my name's Acacia, and I'm named after a tree. It kind of inspired me to be really connected with earth and gardening and growing food. From a very young age, I was around dirt, I was around farms, I was around agriculture, and we had our own chickens and all of that stuff. I have grown up with house plants and house gardens as well as, you know, with farms. And from the young age, you know, I see the huge production, you know, production that it that you need in order to feed the masses, but then I also see the amount that you necessarily need or want to grow for your house. So my dad owns a produce business now. He's a distributor. Um, he is based in Northern California. My grandmother, my maternal grandmother, is in the Bay Area and has a decent amount of property where she lives because they bought it in, let's see, the 60s before development started really happening. And there's pears and citrus and apples and all that kind of stuff. So that's how my mom grew up. We would be pruning, we would be picking weeds. In my mom's family, we have this house plant. We are listening to Acacia talk for an hour today. Dude, I haven't had like a real burrito in like nine years. This is Acacia talking to herself. And then sometimes a third party comes in, she keeps talking to herself. My great, great, great aunt or something like that when she- That bitch can talk and talk. That girl talks so freaking much. I don't understand how she does it. She must have been a swimmer because she can hold her breath forever. Yay, we get to garden together. <laughs> Okay, she's funny because she's the type of person who like, she'll be mid-story talking, you can walk away. She'll just divert to whoever's next to her and keep telling the story, and when you come back, she'll just write back in. And I'm just playing in the, in the garden bed and about to eat this giant earthworm. So he comes running out. Oh, perfect. Nonsense it is. <laughs> okay, she's eating worms again. It's a lot to handle. I love her to death, but God, that girl can talk. <laughs> So, I wasn't listening. Aunt or something like that, when she crossed over um, from Sweden, she stuck it in her bloomers, a little clipping of it, and so we call it the pants plant. I mean, you just you take that some bitch and just And so all of the women in the family have pants plants. Um, planters, one duck about planters yeah, a little right. bit. I mean, yeah, yeah I think, um, if you're you know, thinking about building your own garden and you want to try a raised bed, it seems to be it's kind of the easiest way to get a little a garden going in your backyard. Since I have a half acre of property and a very handy fiancé, um, I hate that word, that's why I say it funny. Fiancé, it's French, right? That's not, okay. I'm saying it in a French accent. So it's French Canadian, French Canadian word. Uh, God, we're silly. So over the years, I've done cinder block gardening, barrel gardening, and now I've moved into like raised, full blown raised bed planners. So I don't want people to see this project and see these massive planners that Ben has built and think like, I can't fucking do that because I'm very lucky to have Mr. Handy on our side and like if I didn't have Ben, I would not be able to build these huge planners. I just take, I take wood and make hammer, use nail for to go bah, 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 take wood. I take wood, put together, one here, take wood, put together, one here, take big stick, uh, put in between, take hammer, ha, hoo, ha, and put in ground. 
It was a major pain in the ass. Um, because there was, the ground was all unlevel, uneven, and there was a lot of grass in some sections. So to level it, we had to get down on our hands and knees and just scrape the grass. to do some more gardening stuff and see these planters. Ben has built us. I uh, built my own planter last year, so I know it, it can be a lot of hard work, especially if you don't know what you're doing, because I didn't know what I was doing, but my dad helped me with mine last year. Um, I saw Ben had a fancy saw, so I'm sure he knows what he was doing. I don't know anything about garden beds. I don't know a damn thing about garden beds. I'm just along for the ride, man. So that's been fun and I'm glad that I've had a little bit of experience before we get into the like down and dirty planter gardening because that's going to be a lot of work. So I'm glad that I at least have gotten my hands a little bit dirty so far. Some of the biz biggest mistakes that I've seen friends or family make with their home gardens is that if they're doing raised beds, the raised beds aren't deep enough. So they'll do, you know, a piece of wood that's about that and expect the roots to go underneath it when they haven't completely broken up all of that dirt. And a lot of vegetable roots are really delicate. So they're not like sturdy tree roots where they can pierce through and grow under. They need that lush oxygenated dirt and compost. If you live somewhere where the soil maybe isn't, isn't great for growing, you can kind of bring your own soil in. Um, it, it makes gardening a little easier because it's raised up, um, you know, as far as like bending over and working in the yard, as far as that is, it's, it's a lot easier if you have a little raised um, bed. Um, you can kind of just, like I said, contain it a little better in your backyard. Um, so there's definitely different advantages to it. My biggest advice is if you can't dig, build up. And so that will give you the same amount of space that you need, but it'll just be up instead of going down. And so as you're building these gardens and everything like that, there's you want to think about the water drainage as well and how that's affecting. Because if the water is sitting on top of wherever you have the beds, you're going to be overwatering your plant. I wanna just buy like the best soil, everything like that, but given the size of this gardening project, that's probably not in the budget. I can't afford to fill over 50 feet worth of planting, God, I'm, I love how I'm thinking about this now. We probably can't afford to fill 50 feet worth of planter space with all of the highest quality soil. So we're gonna, when we get to the nursery, we're just gonna have to look at what's available and you know budget it out and look at the pricing options and kind of go from there. I wasn't there because I got my titties redone. I went from a modest B to a full voluptuous C. Sarah encouraged me to feel like my most womanly, so. Today we're getting the soil to put in the planters um, and then maybe heading to the nursery to actually get some seeds or some plants, start planting. Um, since we're 
mid-May now, probably get some stuff in the ground. So essentially like what um, is going to be happening today with the rocks being laid. So um, I believe Ben is getting the chicken wire today and so the chicken wire will help prevent any rodents from being able to uproot things. So what can happen is if you just build raised beds without laying it in areas where you have ground rodents, they'll actually tunnel. And so they'll tunnel and then pull the roots out. So that's why you want to lay chicken wire at the bottom of it. So essentially, we built the, we put the planters like on the dirt. We leveled the dirt at the back. We're leveling the dirt in the bag. We're putting the planters on the dirt. And so acacia, actually, I didn't even think of this. I was just going to fill the bottom with rocks, but the ground's really muddy, especially since we've been watering it. So that would make everything sink. So what we're gonna do is do chicken wire through the planters and they're shaped in two big U's facing each other, which is really cool and we did that so we always have access to everything. Uh, so we're gonna layer the chicken wire and then we're gonna do a layer of rock on top of the chicken wire so it doesn't sink and then start the dirt process from there. I know we talked about, or Chrissy talked about putting chicken wire under ours just to keep things from sinking but then we have made a good point that I've had like mice that are kind of digging under my garden and coming in and just destroying things. So hope we're all on the same page. We're about to find out. Hi, this is Paul. Hi, Paul. How are you? <laughs> I'm doing well. Um, I just had a question. I built the largest raised bed planters I've had to date, um, and I was planning on lining the bottom with chicken wire to keep animals out, and then I was gonna put rocks down and put the soil on it. Is that a bad idea? Yes, it is. What should I put between the soil and the chicken wire? Soil. Just more soil? Okay, that's just a shh, that's a lot of dirt. <laughs> no. I just, the I guess. rock's gonna purge the water. The water will okay. not flow from the soil down until it becomes completely saturated. Okay, gotcha. Okay, so I just need to, and that's doing soils better than doing like mulch or wood chips or anything like that too? Right. Okay. All right, I guess since I decided I wanted the big beds, I got to shell out for all the soil. Okay. <laughs> all right, thank you for your help. We got that. Yeah, I'm on my okay. way. <laughs> all right. All right, Bye. thanks. Bye. He was not amused. I was, gonna say. I was like trying to pop little jokes in. He's like, uh-uh, lady. That's the first thing I thought when Ben told me he was going to double it and hide. I thought, oh my God, the soil is going to get expensive. But All right, so this just changed dramatically. But I mean, okay. One less step, twice the dollars. <laughs> Saving on time, spending a lot more money. Can we look on like Craigslist and get dirt? <laughs> Ashley wanted short beds, so we had to spend less money on dirt. Ashley's like, no, those are too tall. We're going to have to put too much dirt in there. It's going to get expensive. Did Ben tell you what my dad told us to do? To go on Craigslist and find someone that give us free manure. And take the truck and pick a bunch of free horse shit. The beavers. <laughs> no, you this just is why I don't know much about soil, because my dad literally just brought a tractor down the road with dirt from his backyard. It's like, this is the dirt. <laughs> oh, well. We're gonna have a shitload of dirt. You're gonna find in this series, we have people who are just wanna shell out all the money and then there's people who wanna like save the money and you're gonna notice Chloe and I are probably a little bit spendier than Ashley and Sarah. There's Free dirt. At the bottom. Party. That's Free dirt. Doing. Just the this much of the right. bottom now. But that's a lot of fun. <laughs> Dude, you're probably gonna wanna get Free dirt. <laughs> <laughs> Free dirt, huh? Where's it at? Dirt, dirt, dirt. Take as much as little as you want available now. <laughs> I know exactly where it is. Mayberry meets Canyon. I, there's llamas right there. I used to fucking walk by to go to elementary school. I'm not just saying because I've been digging for days already and I'm tired of it, but this seems like maybe a better deal than going and buying, spending another $120 yeah. in shovels. Yeah, I say we go get the chicken wire, lay the chicken wire down, dump that dirt in, and then we'll go pick up the free dirt. This was the dirt I put in mine. Well, we don't have a tractor, Ashley. <laughs> My dad brought this over when I built mine. <laughs> Ashley. <laughs> Free dirt. <laughs> Shows up in a tractor. <laughs> I think, I personally think big bags of mulch, like what's already in the backyard with dirt, because it's just this much along the bottom mm -hmm. that we need to worry about. And then the top foot will be healthy soil. Out. We'll get we'll shovels get, like, and chicken more. wire, and we'll just go to the house and fucking get to it. Make some Kool-Aid. It's 
sweet. Gotcha. But the guy on the phone at the nursery had an agenda. He wanted us to buy his fancy ass yeah, soil, yeah. which is exactly why he was like, oh no, don't get mulch. Now I understand why we're not using rocks. Yeah. But yeah, I think everywhere we read, mulch is like the way to go. Yeah. And that's cheap as shit. So off to the chicken wire. Chicken, chicken, good. I had to do it. Yeah, so Big bada boom. Oh, okay, I'm done. Ow! Yeah, uh, why? You can't hold anything. You're not allowed to do anything to it. I'm gonna get diabetes. Yeah, no diabetes. I don't want you to get diabetes. Damn it, man, that stabbed me. Just spring a leak? No, it's fine. I don't bleed. <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't know shit about gardening, man. It's just, I'm really excited though. My mom had this this sweet garden back when we lived in San Diego and I was a wee lad. Fruits, vegetables, pretty stuff, more pretty stuff. Like a little path in between. So I just had very fond memories of that place when I was a kid. The like U-shaped planter beds, the little walkway in between. It's kind of like, it's kind of my way of reliving that, you know? So I'm just gonna like look back there every day and gain something else from it, you know? feels really fucking cool to be creating this aesthetically beautiful content as well as educational as well as getting to do it with all my best friends and my you know uh, my family and so it doesn't feel like work and just being out there all going through the misery of building those planners together and getting dirty like it didn't even suck it was fun Having a good setup is, is kind of key to getting it going. I'm excited this year to do the gardening with everybody. 
out in the backyard of the Cagney Harkle Road household because it's gonna be a new experience for a lot of us with the area that we have to garden in and the things that we're gonna grow. I know Ashley's dead set on making everything happen from a seed. Girl, it's not happening, okay? All right. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of learning, but I, I don't think we're behind yet by any means, but just, just about time to start planting because the frost is, is pretty much gone. It's crazy, like I didn't, like gardening is definitely therapeutic, you know, like we talked about in the last video, but I haven't been outside enough and building these planners has like put me outside and like it's just, like I'm co-creating with all of my favorite people right now. And it's, this is a project like I haven't seen anybody else do. I haven't seen a big gardening project like done publicly start to finish by anyone. <laughs> 